A very warm welcome to the top three qualifiers for the FIA Formula One Singapore Grand Prix. In third place, Lewis Hamilton. In second place, Max Verstappen. And taking the sixth pole position of his F1 career and his fifth of this 2024 campaign, our pole sitter, Lando Norris. Brilliant lap in Q3, Lando. Very well done. With the red flag, it became a one-lap shootout in the end. Just how good was the lap? Um, not not particularly good. Uh, just because it's, it's, I mean, it's, hard, it's difficult. It's hard to do um, everything around here in, in one lap. So uh, I was a bit down in the first sector, probably a couple tenths, and then felt like I had to try and push a bit harder in the middle sector to make up for it and that kind of thing. But I mean, it still felt good. We've been good all weekend, so just struggled to progress much from practice into quali. Um, like we just found a good setup there and stuck and didn't really progress at all, really. I went only a touch quicker than what I did in FP3, so. Um, Expected a bit more and was probably found a little bit more difficult than I would have liked in both Q1, Q2 and Q3. But uh, the car's been amazing all weekend, so um, felt good and felt comfortable just to go out and put the lap in. What do you put that lack of progress down to? Was it the track conditions in qualifying? No, I mean, I think it's tough to say. I think we've just done a very good job at arriving at the track and car works well. We, I mean, we haven't touched the car all, all weekend. Um, Many, because no matter what we do, it doesn't really make much difference. So um, <laughs> we've kind of just had the car and not had to do a lot to it. But that's also a good thing in, in many ways. Um, but it was still a handful to drive in the end. Like the Q3 lap at the end was uh, was tough with um, with locking, with the bumps. Um, I made quite a few mistakes. So the car was still tricky to drive, but very quick. Um, and that just allows me to drive at 99% and still deliver. So just a combination of several things. And it's a very, very hot and humid race here. How different are your preparations over the next 24 hours ahead of the race? Uh, not, no different, really. Um, yeah, just drink a bit more and that's it. All right, well, let's look ahead to the race. Um, you sound very confident in the car. You've done some long runs yesterday. Just how much confidence do you have? I mean, quite a bit. We've been very good all, all weekend. Um, People have caught up, clearly, like we've gone into quali there. And uh, yeah, clearly, um, you know, Max improved and, and, and he proved a lot from yesterday into today. Uh, Mercedes as well, they were very quick in Q2. So um, they were there, they were out there on my on my tails, a bit close uh, for my liking, comparing to what I had in kind of FP3 and things. But uh, confident that the car's good in both quali and race. We showed that already on Friday. So confident if I can just... Um, get ahead then I uh, get my head down and can go away and do you think the fourth DRS zone here will make your life a little bit harder uh, no all right well look, very good luck in the race thank you Lando well done today Max let's come to you it hasn't been the smoothest of weekends for you or Red Bull racing so far so how sweet does this front row feel yeah I'm very happy with um, with second today after yesterday uh, and I want to say also a big thank you to the team for continuing to push throughout the, the weekend, you know, to make the car better for me. Um, so, yeah, very happy to, to be on the front row. What did you change overnight? Because it seems there's been a big difference in performance, at least. A lot. Can, can you elaborate in terms of what you've No, you've done? I might uh, get fined or get an extra day, so. Well, look, are you confident, Max, uh, with the race pace? Maybe. I mean, how much of a step into the unknown is the race, given the problems you had yesterday in practice? It's an unknown. Yeah. Tell us about lining up. This along is not towards you. Don't worry. Okay. Um, I don't want to upset you. We're fine. But can you just tell us about lining up alongside Lando then tomorrow in terms of the championship battle and, and your tactics in the race? I will find out tomorrow. All right, Max. Thank you. Uh, Lewis, let's come to you. Um, you weren't that positive about your car yesterday after practice. Um, is P3 a bit of a surprise in qualifying? Uh, I'm not saying it's a surprise, but it's, uh, we are, I mean, through the weekend so far, we were looking, I was looking particularly very poor. I mean, this morning and all of yesterday, we were 1.2 seconds off this, guys. So, uh, 
we may we we arrived with a car that was massively understeery and we just couldn't dial any in no matter what we did it just nothing changed and um made changes overnight came here today pretty much the same thing and i was really definitely shocked to see that we were still 1.2 seconds behind uh lando again and then we just kept our heads down kept uh not giving up and we made some more changes and got into this session and it was like night and day such a big difference car was all of a sudden alive and and uh it was, would go where i wanted it to go so um it was looking really strong through through throughout qualifying and i think it obviously with the the crash in q3 made it difficult for all of us to put that final lap together i think uh my lap was also nothing special um very difficult to get the tires perfect and not overslide them i had a lot of snaps so um i think on a with a better job maybe we could have been front row with this guy but i don't know whether or not we could have beaten today but still really really happy how rewarding is it because because you've had some struggles with qualifying you've been very open about that this year so does that make this that much more satisfying oh yeah i mean just to be up here with these guys great drivers um i've not been up here for a while and um yeah qualifying has been a nightmare for quite a long time so it feels great to be up here i'm feel very very grateful and um very very happy um and i think hopefully from here george and i are on the second row so hopefully from here we can apply pressure to these two and and to even to be ahead of another mclaren and another red bull and also the ferraris is is mega considering how fast the ferraris particularly are here so yeah i hope that we can hold on to these guys tomorrow all right lewis thank you very much for that let's open this to the floor Name and publication as ever, please. Uh, Luke Smith from The Athletic. Um, Max, I know you won't elaborate on what the changes were, but how much of those changes were learning, I guess, from what happened in Baki, where you guys went in the wrong direction? And how much was the balance between, particularly at a street track like this, the driver getting the most out of the car in those uh, sections or those rectories with the car? Uh, I would prefer if you ask these questions outside the room. Okay, uh, any more questions here in the room? Yes, please. Uh, ben Hunt, Autosport. Um, sorry, this is a bit nerdy, but um, Carlos Sainz had the, the crash and he's run across the track on foot. Lewis, similar thing to what you did at Qatar last year and you got that massive penalty and everything else. They FIA said they were going to review it. I don't know if they ever told you guys about the rules once they'd reviewed it last year, what, what you can and can't do. With regards to live track, I also did it. <laughs> you did as well. Yeah, Miami. Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we know how to run across the track. That's where that that rule where that rule is is a picture of me and him. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Lando, any more from you on this? I mean, uh, you uh, no, nothing really. Yeah. All right, any more, please? Andrew Benson, BBC Sport. Um, one for Max and then one for Lando and Lewis. Max, will you talk to us outside the room? Because technically there's not an, yeah, okay. And then uh, Lando and Lewis, what do you think about Max being given community service effectively for what he said on Thursday? I mean, deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Foul language, so. Uh, I think it's pretty unfair. I don't agree with any of it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of a joke, to be honest. This is uh, the pinnacle of the sport. Um, mistakes are made. Um, I certainly wouldn't be doing it, and I hope Matt doesn't do it. Okay. Any more, please? Uh, Rodrigo França, Car Magazine Brazil. Question to Lando Norris. Uh, congratulations on your poll. Uh, uh, how do you feel having 10 world titles uh, starting behind you? And a uh, second uh, question is about uh, the approach for the race. You had in Miami and Imola some good fights with Max, but at that time of the uh, championship, it was uh, not a, you are not a title contender. Now you are a title contender. Does it change your approach to tomorrow's race? Um. I mean, it's pretty cool <laughs> that I'm here and 
uh, there's a uh, there's world championships. I mean, there's 150 wins or something between them. So um, yeah, I've got nothing on on them and nothing comparing to them. But hmm? 366, including mine, <laughs> too. <laughs> um, so I find it cool, you know, that I'm that I'm here and I'm amongst them and um, yeah, trying to fight against them. I, I I think that's pretty awesome in, in my regard. So um respect them a lot. Uh, you know, I've looked up to both of them for a long time, both literally and uh, mentally, you know. So um, it doesn't change what I do and, and how I go out and drive, uh, mainly because when you're on track, I mean, I probably know what to expect a bit more from them because I've seen them drive and um, I think they both drive with respect and they both want to drive as clean racing drivers. Um, so I, I think that's uh, something I always look forward to. You know, I, we had a great battle, whether, however it ended in, in Austria, I think, you know, we've had a great battle there and good battles at other tracks too. So um, it doesn't change anything. I just know that they're probably, they'll try and play more tricks or, you know, they're just, they're smarter than um, probably the other drivers and know how to play the, the longer game or the shorter game more than probably other drivers too. So um, yeah, probably just, Respected more and enjoy being here with um, two greats of the sport. Thank you. Next one. Lawrence Edmondson, ESPN. Question to Lando. When you're ready. <laughs> no, it's like, okay, cool. Um, after what happened last week with the yellow flag, do you derive extra satisfaction from this pole position? And I know you said the lap wasn't quite perfect, but it's so hard to get it right around here. So where yeah. does this stack up in your kind of list of poles? Um, I mean, I mean, it's up there still, but I've not had that many poles, so they're all up there at the minute. Um, when I get as many as, as they do both have, then maybe some will feel a bit crap comparing to others. But poles still are pretty awesome for me, and um, yeah, uh, still have to do a nice lap, you know. Um, I think it showed with where uh, we were as a team that the car was quick, but still not easy to drive on a day like today. Um, still easy to make mistakes and could easily have not been on, on pole today. So at the same time, I still feel like I have to go out and perform well. I feel like I did exactly the same when I was on it just as much last weekend. Just things didn't turn out that way because of other circumstances. But um, I've not let it bother me too much. Like I said, Saturday night and coming into Sunday last week, I just concentrated on the next one and, and did what I had to do. So I feel like I'm performing well. I was performing very well in Baku. I was quick all weekend. Um, so I felt like I could, I could easily have fought there and, and fought for a podium and, and for the win, but it wasn't to be. But I maximised that day and I'll go out there tomorrow and try and do the similar thing. Right, thank you. Yes, another one, please. Uh, Frederik Hackbert, motorsporttotal.com. Max, what happens if uh, like the behaviour in this press conference triggers another penalty? So is it more community service then? Um, I mean, you've got a busy schedule. No comments. All right, any more, please? Zuravavo.com. Luis, your car looked much stronger today than it did on Friday. How confident are you that you can get a podium like last year for tomorrow's race? Uh, it's very hard to say because uh, it was such a, a nightmare the past day and a half. So um, I think our, our long run pace was so so, nowhere near these guys, or at least uh, the McLarens. But we have now put the car in a much different window. So we have to also anticipate a different balance tomorrow compared to the past every other session. And um, yeah, I think here is really about managing tie temps. So that's going to have to be key tomorrow. So doing absolutely everything we can to keep the temperatures out the rears, basically. Um, I hope in us, in our attempt to do that, we were somehow able to hold on to at least one of these guys. Um, but yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. Feel confident though that we might be able to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. Another one, please. Uh, Max, how long do you anticipate that you won't be giving answers in the uh, in the FIA press conference for? I'm answering. It's not a lot. Problem with my voice. All right. Any more? Any more from the floor? All right, we will leave it there. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.